Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to delete sample data in PrestaShop. Basically you have an option of either deleting your catalog or your customers and orders. So for example the data that uh, PrestaShop installs by default you can delete. Just keep in mind that if you added any items, categories or attributes those items, categories and attributes that you've added will also be gone after uh, deleting this information. So this is basically intended for uh, stores that have just been set up. So to delete that sample data simply go to your uh, admin panel then go to modules and modules again. Here you will want to make sure that your filter by is on installed and not installed and enabled and disabled and then simply look for database cleaner. Note that it might also go by the name of PrestaShop Cleaner. So once you've found it, simply click on install. So to delete your catalog, which also deletes your products, features, categories, tags, images, prices, attachments, scenes, stock, attributes, groups, and values, uh, manufacturers and suppliers simply select yes and then click on delete catalog again remember that prior to clicking the delete button that you should realize that this will actually delete everything that is related to products click on OK if you wish to delete Next, you're going to want to uh, delete your orders and customers. This is, of course, if you want to delete your customers and orders. Again, simply select yes and click on delete orders and customers. Next, you're going to want to go to functional integrity constraints and you're going to want to click on check and fix. And now you're going to want to go to database cleaning and you're going to want to click on clean and optimize and now once you go back to your store it should be empty and yes it is and as for my uh, admin panel I no longer have any orders and for my customers, they're gone as well. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.